What's it like to just kind of be at Winterfest? I mean, I'm, you know, you haven't had a chance to be in big boots from training or anything. So, like, what, what's kind of this whole thing like? It's just a good experience. You get yeah. to uh, meet some of the big league guys and kind of interact more, you know, than you do at minor league camp and not really seeing them. But uh, get to come here, have a good experience at the field, um, see all the fans, you know, people who know you, and get to get to just say hello and be a part of it. It's it's a good 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 experience for sure. Which guys, kind of teammates, have you talked to so far today? Um, well, Keyboom and Burke, I've got to play with them all year mostly, so getting hanging out with them and then like Rendon and all of them are up there. So it's cool to talk to them, just hear what they got to say and Fetty and Stevenson. It's nice to be able to hang out with all those guys and just experience that. So. What did you learn from the jump from Potomac to double uh, A last year? Uh, there's a, it's a big skill gap difference, I think. Um, I think I got it really tired at the end of the year. So um, obviously I need a, I guess that goes with training and just getting into that 140, 150 inning mark like once, first time ever. So um, just strikes, you know, strike zone was a little smaller um, and guys are approaching you differently than they were in Potomac. So um, just, I think getting to see that jump and everything, it was it was good for me and lets me know that there's work to, like I still gotta go keep going and keep getting ready for next year. You know that's gonna happen when yeah. you make a move, but is it kind of a wake up call? Uh, you you know it's coming. It just just depends, you know how how you feel and things. Um, yeah, it's it's it just shows you that that the next level is different. So um, it was it was a good experience for sure. I asked Mike Rizzo last year about the at this at the about the depth in the organization. He mentioned you, Seth Romero, and a couple other guys. When you finish at Double A, get invited to a thing like this, does it kind of dawn on you that you're on the cusp of maybe you know, working your way up to the majors or Triple A first? Yeah, it just, it just means that everything that I've been working for and that I am working for is um, it's kind of falling where I wanted it to, you know. I'm invited to here and uh, I had a good year last year, so it just means that what I'm working towards and working for is it's, it's all, I'm, like you said, I'm on the way there, so. Is there a specific thing you're working on this offseason? Uh, just staying in shape, you know, um, I, losing a little bit of weight, uh, just being in the best physical shape I can be in when I get to spring training and be able to go out there and perform at a high level. What worked best for you last year? <laughs> Every day, no days off, you know. So uh, I think in college and stuff, you don't really have the um, meal plans and things. And now you get out and you notice that like the food is a lot bigger than, <laughs> than you realize. Like, wear it out as much as you want, but if you're going and eating hamburgers every night, it's not going to work out for you. So. I mean, outside of training and stuff, what did you learn from like the jump that tells you or like what do you think kind of the big step is going to be for you to get big league ready what are the things like on the mound you have to work on uh, I think just mechanically out of the stretch I think I was a little off so um, being as in tune with myself and then my mechanics would be a big thing and then uh, just being more competitive over the zone over the zone I think in Potomac I was able to get away with throwing pitches in the dirt and people swinging at them and in double a I wasn't able to do that so just being more competitive in the zone and being more refined with my mechanics will help me make that next jump.